Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So it's time to make those donuts. But before I make those donuts, I'm gonna make this video. And for those young people who don't know what I'm talking about, search time to make the donuts here on YouTube and you'll figure it out. But anyway, I did a video response to O'Shea Duke Jackson. You know, he did a video where he was bashing Umar Johnson and Roland Martin, calling them simps. So I did a response to that video, and that video is uploading on my I Declare War channel. So look out for that video. Once it is uploaded, when I get a chance, I'll post the link in the description box so that you could check it out. Also, I saw that David Carroll did some kind of response video to me. I plan to respond to him. Uh, hopefully, it'll be later on tonight after I come from the gym. You know, I plan to respond to that guy. So look out for that video. That will be on my I Declare War channel as well. But for this video right here, I just wanted to briefly talk about a point that I forgot to mention in my response to O'Shea Duke Jackson. And that point is simple. You know, this guy claimed to be pro-black, and I go into that in my the video, but he claims to be pro-black, but yet he has a channel dedicated to bashing and attacking black women. A channel dedicated to promoting all kinds of negative and racist stereotypes about black women. You can't profess to be pro-black while you bash and destroy the black woman. You can't claim to be pro-black and you're anti-black woman. You just can't do it. Black women are half of the black race, even more than half of the black race. And you can't attack that half and claim to be pro-black. You know, and the problem is not just limited to a person like O'Shea Duke Jackson, it is also addressed to people who profess to be pro-black. You know, these popular YouTube personalities who can't claim to be so down with the black community, claim to be in the fight for black liberation and black empowerment, but these same people have no problem promoting negative stereotypes about black women, you know, promoting misogyny, you know, bashing black women, promoting womanizing and all that kind of stuff. These people are hypocrites. You can't be pro-black and bash the black woman and disrespect the black woman. I mean, these guys claim to be pro-black, but they defend men who physically abuse black women. They defend rapists and sexual abusers, sexual predators. You can't be pro-black and defend that nonsense. So I had to express that. And then, you know, the flip side is true. Obviously, you can't be pro-black and bash the black man and stereotype the black man and try to paint the black man as some kind of villain. You just can't be pro-black and bash the black man. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that bad behavior can't be critiqued and criticized and all that kind of stuff. But there's a difference between critiquing bad behavior and then making all kinds of stereotypes about an entire race of black women. And being pro-black is not the same as being pro-pandering and pro-hustling, you know, where you say what people want to hear, where you pander to a particular gender in order to get money out of them, in order to sell products and get merchandise sold. You know, so that's a distinction. But I just had to express that one, one additional point that I forgot to raise during that O'Shea Duke Jackson response video. So tell me what y'all think. And also, I want to let you know that I plan to do a Google Hangout. It'll probably be um, either Friday or sometime this weekend. I'll make an announcement soon to let you know about that. Um, and if there are topics that you think I should focus on for that Hangout, please let me know in the comment section. So I want to thank y'all for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.